Hello, everyone. Welcome to my 2020 top 10 list of hot, resilient trends in green roof and green wall design, plus a look into 2021. Hi, I'm Linda Velasquez from GreenRoofs.com, and we've certainly had an unprecedented and super challenging year on many fronts and on a truly global scale. Potentially, the ever-evolving COVID-19 pandemic could be the most serious health and economic threat of our lifetime. For those of you who don't have time to watch our entire top 10 list for 2020 and 2021, we're breaking it up by categories to make watching more manageable. You'll see that the hot top 10 list for 2020 and 21 is a bit different in that trends are defined in terms of their resiliency application. I've curated a selection of truly resilient global architecture from across six continents to hopefully keep you inspired. Number six, environmental resiliency via a climate responsive typology. Designing with nature ensures a more secure and easy comfort. The design of the new Jakob Factory Saigon presents a strategically land-saving project with focus elements of passive design. Designed by Roli Marchini Architecton and G8A Architects, the highly innovative manufacturing space for Jakob Rope Systems boasts completely naturally ventilated manufacturing halls. Taking reference from the traditional tropical architecture of the region, the environmentally friendly alternative offers an innovative vertical densification strategy, stacking the usable zones on superimposed slats. Covered in a wide variety of tropical plants, the design has a porous facade devised as a lush planted skin. The living wall horizontal planters not only filter rain and sun, but also contribute to lowering the atmospheric temperature through evaporation, acting as air purifiers and dust particle binders, as well as allowing the air to circulate. Green facades cover the parking area with climbing plants planted in the ground. Based on passive climatic strategies adapted to its tropical region, amenities for staff and the intelligent distribution of workspaces, the pioneering initiative of the Jakob Factory Saigon is set to become a design reference for sustainable tropical living architecture in Vietnam and the area. The Net Zero flagship McDonald's at Disney World is a feat of climate responsive efficiency. Architects Ross Barney says, when we started doing the research for the design, we got into their corporate values, and one of their most important values is sustainability. And they've made some really big commitments like being zero energy by 2030. A distinct Florida flavor is offered with its spacious 6,000 square foot open lanai with shading photovoltaics. Porous pavers were used around the restaurant and jealousy windows open and close based on climatic conditions. Interactive elements include storytelling kiosks inside and stationary bikes outside, which were constructed in, in lieu of an outdoor play structure. If you pedal them fast enough, you'll light up the iconic Mickey D's sign. Here you can see some of its many sustainable design features, including 1,066 solar panels and 4,800 square feet of solar glass panels. Plus, the building can be cooled without air conditioning about 65% of the time. In fact, it's a first-of-its-kind project, being the only quick-service restaurant to aim for net-zero energy building certification from the International Living Future Institute. The new McDonald's Net Zero flagship at Walt Disney World Resort weaves together a narrative that champions environmental education and stewardship. Responding to Orlando's subtropical climate, it's a pilot for the company to explore new ways of reducing its environmental footprint while educating customers. Please visit us at greenroofs.com to stay on top of all the global green roof and green wall news. And don't forget to join us on social media and get your company all the exposure you deserve by getting listed in the directory. And here's a quick look at hopefully a really complete list of my inspirational sources and resources that I used for the 2020-21 top 10 list.